<laughs> That's right, it's the Swiss love that year. You'll eat or something now, but I don't right. think I have enough power. You gotta just open it anyway. Alright, but you're ready, huh? Perhaps it's apples. Perhaps it's a William Tell thing. An apple a day keeps the Austrians away. Here we, here we are in downtown Bern, Hansheim. We just see the capital of this a little while ago. You can see that they, have, they love their flags. They have the uh, national flag, the state flag, uh, Bern, and uh, just up and down the whole street. And the red carpet out, a lot of flags, and a lot of television cameras. I believe something about some kind of high either ambassador or dignitary or government official. We started over in Shears, right, in this area, Sw Eastern down Switzerland, down here, down here. Right, crossed almost the entire Switzerland. Now we're going on here. I see from Eastern Switzerland to Western Switzerland to uh, Northwestern. Geneva's down there. There's Austria. Germany's up there. Italy down there. Oh, there's Hans. We're in a museum in uh, the town would be called what would be the name of this town? Hans. We came over to Zurich and we went down to Bern. Went from Bern to Fribourg. Fribourg to all the way over to Verden. Everdome. Everdome. Near Lake Nashatel or by Geneva. And then we went to Biel. We're going to be going up to... to... Uh, Poland 3. Poland 3, almost by the uh, French border. Das machen wir so. 
Mersi kõma on, jah, jah, jah. Sure, sure. Et see võrgad taa, hea mõte jah. Aastat siis jääb, et see on rajus, et see on see on fuuse. Et on rõtseb gleis eis, ahti eigelt svans, gleis eis. Gleis eis, ahti eigelt svans. Here we are at the Ryan Falls, near Schaffhausen. We just took the bus from town. And it's really quiet here, not many people. It's raining. There's a lot of people that took the train to the far bank on the right side. There's a castle there. We're going to head there shortly. But this is a magnificent. An incredible picture of uh, the waterfalls, the biggest one in this in Europe. generating power ladies and gentlemen here's going you're a force of nature <laughs> oh my god look at that the, the water above you hey look at it. it's creating the power to hey, 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 hey. how long are you gonna go force of nature or as they it. say do best find natural gold Jawohl. Check out the line poles too. 70, 60, 70, 80, 80. You have to go 80 for a long time. I don't see it. 80, 80, okay. Check out those ride poles. We just walked around most of the south side. We're gonna head around to the, uh, that would be the east side. Well, here's a fish. Hey, people are fishing He's all over fishing. the He's fishing. He has one on it, maybe. It's quite a sight. We're here at the Rhine Falls. Behind us is a waterfall. I mean, a water wheel generating a lot of water power. They had a little activity over on the other bank where they wanted to see how much a person could generate in power. The water going over the Rhine Falls generates a lot of power. small water wheel, but imagine probably if they had a lot of water wheels all along the Rhine Falls, it could generate a lot of power. There's a lot of water force coming through here. And behind you, you can see how much turbulence there is in the water. There's just a lot of energy, a lot of activity in the water. What a, what a place. We'll see you soon. We're heading up to the castle on the other side. Light falls. Everybody's up there on the hill. Nobody here. Sunday, 9 o'clock. Raining a little bit. It's the only people there. Behind us, 
behind us is the uh, castle that we're heading to, and the railroad tracks come right across the uh, bridge. Uh, we're gonna head over there real quick. That's where everybody is. It's a rainy day. Nobody wants to take a walk around the, the whole ride full that Hans and I just did. Everybody wants to just go right over there. So we're, we're heading that way. See the uh, castle and the view from that spot. See you soon. Here we are at the bridge. Right. We just crossed over the bridge over the Rhinefall. The castle's right up above us. There comes the train. Right. The train's right Perfect away. job. center out there. across the river. And uh, it's an unbelievable sight. There's an island right in the middle of the Rhine Falls. You can see the flag, the Swiss flags everywhere, and it's right on the top of the rock. And you can take the boat. I believe the boat goes all the way over to the island, and you can walk up there. There's some tourists riding the boat across the river. Just another tourist trap to uh, to pay money, but you can tell how busy it is getting. We were over there just a little while ago. There was nobody but us. And look, there's uh, at least several dozen now. At least, maybe a hundred. A lot of people everywhere. And uh, a few hours ago, nobody. Hans and I were the only ones right here. Going right over the fish there, watch that. Oh. oh. He's, he's going on, the guy is driving the boat there, look, Tom. The man who is standing there. Look at this. They go on it. Swiss uh, flag all over, Swiss cross. This is definitely the uh, Swiss boat. The red cross. Right. Tom. Red cross. Here's the boat, Tom. Right. Many of other boats. This is uh, one of many, and uh, you can get right up close. I believe they they get you right up, and you can take a staircase up to the uh, top of the island in the middle. So uh, plenty to do here and plenty of ways to access the Rhine Falls. Very uh, wet, there's spray 
and it's really green because of all the wet. I mean, you can see all the uh, water vapor going up in the sky. Uh, the forest around here is just dripping wet. And you can see how thick and green it is. But it's, uh, I gotta get back here, uh, see it again. It's a very nice place. The rail, come by. I'm gonna go to Steinman am Rhein. You see right here. So we're gonna go catch that. What we are doing? We just made a mistake, didn't we? Right. We uh, mistakenly are going actually south to winter through. We wanted to go back north to start the run. So we're, it's no biggie. We're gonna basically just do a detour. Next halt, Hetlingen. Right. We took the uh, the wrong turn. We wanted to go on uh, west towards. Uh, or east towards, towards Austria. We got Italy, Austria, Germany. Hey, okay, we're in winter tour. Uh, we just took a little detour by mistake. But we've seen lots of more of Switzerland, basically north of uh, Zurich, a little south of Germany, and uh, we want to head back north. Um, towards Steinrein. But we'll have only 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes, we just have a little stopover. We'll be on the way shortly. It's a pretty big hub. Looks like a lot of big trains come through here. The double-deckers, they go cross-country or are heading through. Makes California look like a suburb. All right, uh. one train in California, they're trying to get going across state. Look at all these, the, the large trains going across on the On the second. They come in when they say, they leave when they sit. It's, uh, it's uh, quite a system. We'll uh, see you again soon.
is exactly it. It looks like it's right around here. In Germany. Which land? Uh oh. Oh wow. <laughs> right here. Just walk I'm over. In Switzerland. Now I'm in Germany. So everybody back in America. I'm in two countries at once. Very good. Now I'm back in Switzerland. You can see behind you the, the Swiss entry between the Rhine, Stein and Rhine and Grenz, Grenze, which Grenz is in border. Right. Germany, we just went to the border. Uh, Steinman, Stein, and Rhine. Steinbrenner. Right, it's right here. We just walked through it. It's over to the right. And uh, Cox is over. Other part of the city is over there. That's uh, south over to Zurich. And uh, Germany's straight beyond us, the north. Austria's. You see over there. A lot of wildlife in the river, a lot of birds, some swans, some ducks. They want food. But he has some there. He's going to feed them in a minute. We just had a little lunch here in uh, Schaffhausen and uh, we're thinking about maybe going to tour a little bit in the city. We got back from Stein am Rhein just a little while ago and uh, it's a nice place that we have a little bite to eat. Uh, Mama, yeah. uh, cafe. Train station's just right outside. And, uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything worth doing in the city itself. So we're just waiting for the next train to go back to Zurich. Mr. Tom, the battery is getting low. Just, Where are we? We're just uh, heading back from Zurich, traveling west towards uh, Sargans and to Lanport. Then going to get down south to Shears. Lake Zurich is over on our left, and uh, we just had a full day. We go long days here in Switzerland. 12 hour days, on the move. But you can do it with the train system, very easy. We, we fill up the time. 
and uh, we had a, a big long day of traveling to the Rhine Falls, then Steinman Rhine, then uh, Stahlhofen, then Diesenhofen, then Diesenhofen, uh, then the Zurich, and now back back to Shears. We've been gone for three days, and uh, looking forward to uh, get to bed. To, to get to bed, watch a little soccer. It's our European Championships, and that's it. Well, well, until we meet again. Hans and I in Grole, near Fribourg, French speaking. It's uh, Hans's old army base we just looked at. Uh, they speak French. They said uh, bonjour to us earlier. No more guten tag. And, uh, there's many cows just over there where they make the finest uh, Swiss cheese. We go that way, we go back to Fribourg. We're actually going to go the other to see uh, some other towns. Actually, get uh, basically almost to France. School kids, we were remarking on how they're alone, safe travels in Switzerland. They can travel all by themselves. No, there's no adults. Safe here. But we're almost to the end of Lake Nashatel. And if the trees break, you can actually see it over here. A very nice lake near uh, Geneva. 
in uh, South Western Switzerland. They all speak uh, French. They were, kept saying uh, Hans and I, bonjour. Everything was bonjour. No, no good talk. Right, fair place. Church uh, in Iverdo in uh, east, western Switzerland uh, near Lake Nashatel. First time I've ever been in here, first time Hans has ever been in here. Looks very nice. A lot of uh, art on the, the windows. Nice big clock at the top of the room. And a uh, huge organ right behind and above us. Here we are in Ivedo, over by Lake Nashito. Behind us is an old uh, castle. And there's, uh, we just got out of there. There's a uh, cathedral right, right here too. Very historic town, built right on the banks of the old, of the lake. And uh, it's a great, you can see a lot of stuff, a lot of people walking around. The rain stopped, and uh, we're off to our next adventure. Hey, we're at the uh, train station Everdome, over by Lake Nashito. We're waiting for the train, and uh, we're ready for our next adventure. See you soon. Have to leave it open for a while, you know. Yeah. Look how long that train is, huh? I don't know. The conductor just bypassed. That's right. Didn't even check it for tickets. Sorry, Hans. What town are we in? Provencry. Provencry. Uh, we, we made it to the last town a few miles up. And uh, we were almost in France. It's a pretty quiet town, except for the main square where there's one very busy road that goes past uh, all the restaurants. Good food and uh, great place, pretty affordable. And we're at this um, 
old uh, medieval fort. And uh, it has a tower there where you can go up, it looks like, uh, to the top, get a view of the city. I believe it was, it doesn't really say the, the year it was built in, but uh, it's probably somewhere around 1291. <laughs> That's right, because the Swiss love that year. And uh, it looks like there's a, the, the clock tower there is called Eglise Saint Pierre. And the, uh, there's a temple over towards the right. And there's a, uh, let's see, what else do we have? The crane in the middle. That's right, they're always uh, constructing something. They're always building. But this is Porrent Tree. Very nice small town in northwest Switzerland. Until we go on our next adventure. See you soon. Yup, the door open. Of course not. Pretty steep, huh? There's Tom Webb, the Swiss uh, Swiss Tower. I can't believe there's nobody here, huh? Amazing, huh? Nobody yells at us yet. It's like nine. Nine thirty already. It's all right. Hey guys, we're uh, right in the middle of St. Orsain, and there's the, uh, the statue of St. Orsain, right in the middle of the bridge, crossing the river. Beautiful town, right in the middle of a 
valley, the train uh, stop is way up the hill, and we just walked down. It's very steep cliffs. Uh, the rock, the rock faces. Looks like there's a, a a castle and a church beyond the beyond the houses here. About to go check that out. Again, it's a great little town in uh, northwest Switzerland. See you. See you soon. Restored 1899. Built a long time before that. Right in the middle of the Saint or Saint. Very nice. Very well kept. Until we meet again. Tom's making the picture, I'm the cameraman, Hans again. You'll never see me much, you don't have to. It's a nice uh, calm day, overcast, cool. We came back up from San Saint. checked out a couple of hotels, the bridge. Tom can't get enough of that town. One of the many traffic signs, uh, everything is in kilometers and also in time, hours and minutes, which is unique. And we went to, uh, we have been to Delimont, 40 miles, 40 kilometers to the right. And, uh, right, all the many towns but the one to the, on the left, in La Jotteville. You say La Jotteville, right. it's a, a much-making town. It used to be a great ice hockey team, not anymore, in my day. Right. But now this is, I think it's the watchmaking capital. 62 kilos, that's 50 miles, that's quite a ways. And very We're different. 50 miles. Very different from our American traffic sign. But the yellow ones, like we said. We just left uh, St. Orsen. Uh, we're heading down to Delimont. Nice day, it hasn't rained at all. Somewhat warm. The sun comes out once in a while. And uh, it's quite an adventure. There's cameras everywhere. That's right, they watch you on these trains. See you soon. Hey, we're on our way from Shears to Coeur. We go see the uh, maybe museum, get some souvenirs. We got our way back to Shears, just a short little trip. We had a, uh, we're trying to get some stuff done today, and uh, the sun has broken through, it stopped raining. It was really nice set with the clouds over the hills. It's coming in. Ice. From, uh, it's coming Swiss in. Railway SBB right. train coming in, regional train to Coeur. Museum. Freeway over there. The 
freeway to Coor. Actually, the freeway, more, more or less to Bellinzona, where uh, Rol Rolf is. The freeway then? Yeah. Not many cars on it. Well, compared to California. Right. You know, you have the most traffic in the world. That's what you have. California, it's number one. Right. You know? And this is like... Three stars. Uh -huh. It's a it's plain thing. Look, that this is some kind of a special convoy. Look, there's a, a guy with a flag on it. I must have, must have been some kind of famous guy. German ambassador, right. police, uh, 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 convoy. Right. Mr. Tom Webb in Europe, ladies right. and gentlemen. He's flabbergasted, it's fast. The chicks are going with a lot left and right. Right there. Uh, so we're good. My name is Adam and another two times. Who is to unsere Endstation? Wir bitten alle Reisende auszusteigen. Sowie der Regionalzug nach Hurstadt, Langwieser Rosa, Abbahnhofplatz, Gleis 2 um 11.08 Uhr. Ladies and Gentlemen, shortly we are arriving on time on platform number 7 in Kuhr. This is our final destination. We kindly ask all passengers to leave the train and we wish you a pleasant day. Your next connecting train. Radio Express to this and this, departing from platform 11 at 10.56. Radio Express to this and St. Moritz, departing from platform number 10 at 10.58. And the local train to Langwies, Arosa, departing from the station square on platform number 2 at 11.08. A presidential or, or at least government envoy. They had a lot of police coming through and a lot of what looks like in America's Secret Service. And they had the red carpet out, a lot of flags, and a lot of television cameras. I believe something about some kind of high either ambassador or dignitary or government official came to court. And we just stumbled across it because the museums were closed. So we kept walking and we found this. Mm -hmm. A lot of TV cameras and uh, media. It looked like somebody high, high up, or maybe a foreign diplomat. But they just left. Uh, food, maybe they go to a restaurant. Rotten house. That's what the police is that in front Is that a, what do you say, Hans? A restaurant? Can you ask this guy? Tom had the uh, first solo train ride from Coeur de Longcourt. That's right. I did fine. No, uh, I didn't get on the wrong train. I didn't have to ask too many questions. I, I did well. I, I made Hans proud. Good morning. We're on our way back to uh, Zurich. Our last day. We're flying out today. We're in Shears right now. First, one of the earliest trains. We're the only one here right now. Um, it's actually it finally got sunny after two days of rain. It's completely sunny now. Our last day always works out that way. And uh, we're just waiting for the train. We'll be on the plane shortly. And it snowed recently. Uh, probably some of it fell last night up on the, the mountain there and behind us uh, down the valley. New, new snow in June. Nice train. This is 
it's got to be good weather. Oh, but the weather was actually good to hike. Right. It was good because you hiked a lot. Right? We never right. went out that area here. No, no it was wow. just in that time. So much to do. It's time. It's difficult. Yeah. And we'll be shortly to the airport. Until we meet again, we'll uh, see you again soon. Oh. I'm in Switzerland. Now I'm in Germany. To everybody back in America, I'm in two countries at once. Very good. Now I'm back in Switzerland.